Now let's take a look at how you calculate the relative humidity using the wet and dry bulb results that we got from our sling psychrometer. So let's say this was the sample data that we got. Our dry bulb temperature was 22 degrees and our wet bulb temperature was 14 degrees. All right, the first thing that we're going to have to know is what is the difference in temperature between our dry bulb and our wet bulb? So our difference in temperature, in this case 22 minus 14, is 8 degrees. So we had a difference of 8 degrees. Now it's time to flip over our lab and look at the chart that we had on the back. Okay, we start by looking at our dry bulb temperature. We said that our dry bulb temperature was 22 degrees. And we said that the difference in temperature between our dry bulb and our wet bulb was 8 degrees. Okay, so all we need to do is look on our graph and see that at 22 and 8 degrees the relative humidity would be calculated at 40 percent. Now you may have had data that was an odd number. So if you had data that was an odd number, this graph, this table only uses even numbers on the side. Do the best that you can. If you would uh, like, you can assume that your number is going to be somewhere in between, so say we had 23 degrees, your number would be somewhere in between 40 and 42 percent. You could estimate that to be 41 percent, but just do the best you can.